What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're going to check out WWE Top 20 Shocking Savage segments in history. Should be a good one. We're going to go down memory lane. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen majority of these clips that we're about to see, but we're going to find out. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K. Let's get right into this video. Sucker! Sucker! This... Yep. Did you smoke? This is when the he was killed, Daniel Bryan. Big red-headed lumber jackass. Um, <laughs> didn't you get pin. beat up by a girl at the Rumble, man? Didn't you get tossed over the top? <laughs> <laughs> they were closed real tight when I put your simple ass to sleep. Woo! Joe is so good. Joe is so goddamn good. Hey, man, be honest with me. How's our old girl Wendy doing? <laughs> My eyes are right because I was in the back smoking a joint with Van Dam. <laughs> but I have something to say to you. Going to a WCW pay-per-view. You are in our house, bitch. <laughs> 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 you screwed Matt. You screwed Matt. <laughs> Man, this crowd, this crowd was savage, bro. Whoa, this crowd was super savage. The only reason you are WWE champion for a year is because Triple mm -hmm. H didn't want to work Tuesday. He was going In my off. World, you the white girl, and I'm Kobe Bryant. In the ring. Oh I God, have dude. my own paranoias with my wallet. That, that definitely did not age well. Oh really my like God, the cringe on that segment. I'm better than you on the stick. Matter of fact, my finger is bigger than y'all. I didn't really get that. I just heard you heavy breathing, dude, and choking on your neck fat. <laughs> Close your mouth. You get the breath of a thousand asses. You need to hit them sit-ups too. Not exactly. Oh. do about it absolutely nothing you had the look but oh boy oh boy did you ever suck <laughs> stand the fact that the last year of my career i've achieved more than you have in your entire life a rattlesnake still a rattlesnake i'm about to open a can of whoop ass all your fault steve just <laughs> shut up for a second let me go <laughs> This is why no one likes coming to New York. <laughs> why don't you put a little bass in your voice then? Why don't you shut up, Steve? Shut up, Steve. <laughs> Calling you an asshole. <laughs> in your old age, you've turned into a real asshole. Yep, hit him with the stunner every Stop. time. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, he came back as uh, the thugonomics John Cena. Be G.I. Joe this summer. Right now, you're a G.I. joke. So if Rock and Dwayne are the same person, I think y'all both are jack-offs. <laughs> I got a gift for Rock tonight. I'm going to give him a Cleveland steamer. I'm Mr. Kung Pao Chicken. You just Miami fried ch <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass at WrestleMania and put my nuts dead in your face. <laughs> Clanging and banging in the gym, just like you, Rusev. But the only difference is The Rock doesn't pull his shorts up to his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock went to visit Lana's favorite place in the city, the meat packing district. <laughs> you need to shut up. And you need to stop dressing like a Soviet streetwalker. <laughs> you made a piece of garbage. But it's too bad you're walking around here like somebody shoved a smear enough bottle up your Putin. <laughs> Is that what you think? You think you're just gonna crush the rock? It doesn't matter, matter what you do. Oh, I love it. Every time, every time, it don't matter how old I get. When he hits the you think it doesn't matter. I love it every time, bro. It just brings back the nostalgic feel. <laughs> We boo you because you're both a couple of world-class international a-holes. 
You guys hearing yourselves kissing my ass like that? Who are you people? Favorite demon right now? What, the devil's favorite dumbass? I remember this segment. This was really good. This was good. This is when um, Randy Orton had pretty much turned face. The authority had turned on him, so he had turned face. They were setting up a nice little little feud between him and Seth Rollins. This was really, really good, bro. Picking ass and taking names or kissing ass and making coffee. From the most dominant superstar in history to the most pathetic. Why do you despise me so? Because I can get on all the rides at Disneyland and you can't. <laughs> and you. Which brings me <laughs> to Seth Rollins. I hit the disrespect there. Oh. <laughs> I remember watching this segment live, and he was like, and you. So this means that he didn't even give him no type of acknowledgement other than just to you, Seth. It's always funny to me, bro. I plan on making you my bitch. This is so Who good. Tonight in our historic main event. Now, each superstar this will is receive an opportunity. Too. Start off by saying how big of a fan I am of your show on the WWE Network, Culture Shock. It's great. I watch it every night. It helps me sleep. Roman, you. <laughs> well, you're just, uh, you're just really tall. Did you come up with that all by yourself, or did Jericho write that for you like he's written the rest of your stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I heard that Enzo even took out a bet against you. <laughs> I'm the biggest dog in this fight. No matter what you've been telling yourself the past few years, size does matter. <laughs> A few things in life that are certain, death, taxes, and Seth Rollins beats Roman Reigns every single time. <laughs> A young Randy. Of the Rock's hometown fans calling you, you are an asshole. <laughs> and also remember some cat named Soul Man Rocky Johnson whooping your daddy's ass. This is a good segment, too, your man. Granddaddy, Bob Orton Sr., the Ross granddaddy, high chief Peter might be a laying the Samoan smack down on his monkey. <laughs> Grandmammy, your mammy, <laughs> they'll complain. Hell, the Ross grandmama, his mama right there, slap the lips off all two of them bitches. <laughs> you never had a pretty pony. You I didn't play with those. I was like, those my sisters, okay? That was it. <laughs> Actually, one day, I'm gonna whip your son's candy ass. <laughs> His ass you are going to kick at WrestleMania. Talk about the brother you stabbed in the back on the same night your other brother told the world he was fighting leukemia again? Mm. All right, but this I remember that. I do remember that. Like, he turned kill. At the most opportune moment, moment, man. That was that was that was a good. It was good to see him turn heel. You know what I'm saying? Because he needed a, a character switch. That that was actually a pretty good moment. We got we got to run that back because that was this segment was actually pretty good. No cap, no cap. Candy ass. Got to run that back yes, one time. You are going to kick at WrestleMania. Talk about the brother. You stabbed in the back on the same night your other brother told the world he was fighting leukemia again? Sorry, but this conversation doesn't concern you. Everything in this ring concerns me. Right now, Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. Do you have to ask permission from your father-in-law first? Mm. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He does have to ask Vince. He does. <laughs> yes, he does. Kurt Angle's going south. Get your mouthpiece. I put my piece in your mouth. And Carlito, you ain't cool. You should be choking. Uh, I want to say this is when he uh, first got to Monday Night Raw. I, I want to say this is when he, uh, he left from SmackDown and went to Monday Night Raw. These nuts. <laughs> Leader's a slut. <laughs> I hand last week and she gave me gonorrhea. Oh, yeah. So you can go ahead and blow me. Oh. Jonathan Coachman, the coach. <laughs> uh, nobody cares about you. <laughs> Chris Jericho, Y2J. 
Well, I guess it's better talking about the haircut that makes you look like a 12-year-old boy. Um, <laughs> and, and, and speaking of hair, where's Triple H? The thought of that somehow made Stephanie McMahon pregnant. And they'd make them watch copies of the DVD, The Marine. <laughs> Morello? Morello? Stand up, stand up. Where are you? Stand up. Well, I'm sorry, what's your name again? It doesn't, doesn't matter, matter what, what your name is. is. When I was WWE <laughs> champion, Raw was the strongest brand. Now, Raw is an absolute joke. Take the women. Whatever oh my God, bro. This, this is, this is bringing back some, some nice nostalgic memories, man. It definitely is. This Beth this is Phoenix, this, this is, is 90210, this is Monday Night Raw, and you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> and who are you supposed to be in love with? Only the weakest intercontinental champion in the history of the WWE, Santino Morella. Even with a broken clavicle, I could beat Santino. Not oh. everybody has granddaddy. Oh man, bro. Ah, uh, I miss. I think his old uh, theme song was called Kill Sh Kill Switch Engage. I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. But his old theme music was so fucking. That shit went hard, bro. No cap. That shit went hard as hell. Tino. Not everybody has granddaddy and daddy behind them to usher them into the WWE. I don't take joy rides on my motorcycle at 3 a.m. and try to pop wheelies <laughs> and get re-injured. Everything that the Divas <laughs> era stood for made me sick to my stomach. How far you were actually able to go with the absolute minimum amount of talent. This you is... leached off of the names of your men. Woo. This was a good... So what's a good you thing? plagiarize and dilute their move sets. This is the only thing stopping me in evolution is going to be the referee, and everyone knows they're not very good at holding me back. We have broken more barriers. Yeah, she was. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, Ronda was ripping them to shreds. I mean, ripping them to shreds on this. Than you ever have. We have knocked down more doors. The only door you ever knocked down was the door to John Cena's bedroom. <laughs> this was. This and was he good. Eventually threw you out of that exact same this, door. This was. A, this new, was a good promo. This is when people were really like, "Yo, she can fucking." Ronda can go on the mic, bro. That that was a nice segment, bro. She was. Blaming them. Listen to this crowd reaction, bro. That she was roasting them. Was the door to John Cena's bedroom, <laughs> and he eventually threw, threw you out, out of that exact, exact same, same door. door. Going from New York to Toronto, there is no bigger disappointment in life. Shut your mouth. It's kind of like the Stanley Cup. They'll never see it in their lifetime. <laughs> kind of like you. uh Winning a WWE championship. <laughs> Trish holding it down. She still looks great as ever, man. <laughs> but she's like, kind of like you winning a WWE championship. You'll never fucking see that. <laughs> like thousands of other women. You want to walk with Elias. I have to break it to you, Trish. I don't date women in their 60s. Oh, she's still you're fighting. Not to lose. You need to watch your mouth, rich boy. <laughs> I really wish this really went somewhere. It didn't really go nowhere like I was expecting it to, man. The aftermath. We knew Shane was going to fucking jump through, <laughs> jump off a, a ridiculous height. But it didn't really go anywhere like I expected it to. Years ago, your legacy died. Mm -hmm. You're just like your old man. From the very day that you were born, you've been your daddy's. <laughs> this was you a good thing. You know how to handle Braun Strowman, and you're never around to. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this nigga, Brock don't ever get on the fucking mic. But this nigga said, "You gotta be kidding me." the fuck you say to me which i'm actually looking forward to uh as the time of me recording this this i'm recording this on friday so i'm actually looking forward to roman and brock getting into the ring to have a little confrontation this friday night well tonight on smackdown i am interested to see how this is going to play out because now we're dealing with a the roman empire the roman rogue reigns empire the tribal chief 
He's on a different level now. He's on a much different level. I think you deserve a shot at this. You don't deserve <laughs> buddy. <laughs> you don't deserve drag us all back down. This was such a to great reality. segment. This reality is, is I kicked kick your ass. <laughs> That's the reality. So Other than later, I'm putting your ass to sleep. <laughs> You look at me when I'm talking, talking to you, or we straighten this out. This right is now. so good. You got beat down by Braun Strowman last night. Look at me. Now look at Braun if you can find him. Before the new day is a good one dark too. matches and pre-shows is all you get. <laughs> you know what's good. Just don't get all rated R like oh your boy, boy Xavier, Xavier Woods. Woods. <laughs> <laughs> that boy Xavier Woods <laughs> got caught slipping, boy. Man, this was actually a really good segment, man. They had some really good feuds. New Day and Usos, fantastic feuds. You used to be Jamaican. Nah, you was just faking, faking. But he stayed in the lane. Woo! You were absolutely nothing till your wife put you on Total Divas. <laughs> they were <will> cool, man. <laughs> it's always funny because they were, this one made this segment good is because they were legitimately shooting jabs at each other and i'm pretty sure they're cool in the back but that's how you do it bro that's that's man i i love this you can tell this wasn't scripted they came up with this on their own i love segments like this i said y'all should get back to doing what you do best and that's carrying bags for who for roman <laughs> but you're not this one as right big of a deal as you think you are this is a this is the legendary corporately segment created yeah. john cena bootleg it's called a promo, Shut kid, your and if you want to be the big dog, <laughs> you're going to have to learn how to He's going full circle, so go man, ahead. so it's good to see it. He's going full so circle. So you wrap all that up, you're just a fake, fake bitch. A fake, a fake ass bitch. It's the one guy in the WWE that John Cena can't see. Congratulations. It took you five years to cut a halfway decent promo, but now I'm about to shrink you down to size. He was really going I'm off script. I'm still here because you can't do your job. I can do this part time better than you could ever do it full time. He was, uh, I think reports were saying that I think Roman was legitimately hit. Like he was mad because because he was literally breaking the fourth wall because Roman couldn't remember his lines. So John was exposing him. I mean, he was exposing him as like, bro, you're not the guy. And Roman was legit pissed. I mean, if that was anybody else that did that, they probably would have buried him. But it's John. You can't bury John. John is the guy. He was the guy at the time, like for WWE. You could not bury John. It didn't really matter. So it was, it was, it was just one of those things you had to learn. He had to learn. And Roman's a much better promo. He's much better on the mic. He's much more comfortable, much more believable. Even this around, this time around against John, it worked out. So, hey, it all comes full circle. But comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite Savage moment uh, from this video. It would have to be the uh, Samoa Joe, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar segment. That shit was gold. That <laughs> nigga Brock took the... You gotta, be, you gotta be kidding me. You don't deserve jack shit, buddy. And then Samoa Joe came in that motherfucker like, yo, bro, I beat your ass. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I beat your ass. Like, it was great. That was one of the best segments on, in Monday Night Raw history. It's definitely one of the best for sure. But comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite segment from this video. I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one.